Hey everybody, um, decided to jump on tonight and do a quick boxcar uh, kit tonight and uh, found one that was not too lengthy so um, hopefully this will be a quick video. Um, the one I'm going to do tonight is the 86 foot high cube Norfolk and Western. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, when I first, uh, unveiled this, uh, I looked it over and it sh showed to be very simplistic and easy to do. I did look through it, so I, I've already opened up the little packet. I've already opened up this, this packet here. Everything is here. Set that right there. Okay. So this is my 86 foot high cube Norfolk and Western box. Oops. Okay. Um, I'm going to set the top to the side for now. Because 99% of the work will be on the bottom. Alright, so... As we can see here, it's just the box cube, the metal plate, the, me the plastic bottom that the plate sits in, and the spine right here. And then the coupler uh, assembly. Um, and then up here is the only piece that goes to the boxcar, which is the, the brake wheel. Um, so with that, uh, let's jump right on into this here. Um, all right, let me grab something real quick. Where did I put it? <laughs> ah. Just need to open my eyeballs a little bit. They were right under my eyes. Okay. Uh let's get back to work here. Um so, I'm going to do my best to explain what I'm doing here. There's two, whoops, sorry. There's two sides to the, the, the spine or the rib cage to the undercarriage here. This side, the smooth side, which is going to be the outside that we're doing. And then there's the inside, uh, which you can see that the, it's kind of curved curved upward on on the inside well that side is actually gonna go towards like that so what I want to do first before we tackle this is I want to do the couplers first because in the assembly right here It shows it going on over the little um, the little ribs here. So let's start. That's the second thing I'm going to do. I stand corrected. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 
metal plate in. So to not lose my parts, I'm going to put them in this little lid here that I'm working with here. Okay, I got everything there. All right. Then I'm going to take the trucks. There's those. There's here's the spot uh those two end cap pieces that we need. Um here's the trucks. Um here's that one and there's that one. There's that and there's that. Um and then we got two short screws which will go I'll show which we're gonna go ahead and just insert on now on this model they have let's see where is it at here right there don't know if you can see it clearly there you go right there There's, you'll see that little nub well this is what we do we take this and we just put that in there. Just like this. Put the second hole, this hole, over that. Boom. Now, so this one will get a screw that goes uh, from the top side. So we're going to lay that down like this. There we go. Take the shortest screw. And do, 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 do and just kind of screw that into place let me get my little screwdriver here oh come on you little booger this requires some patience There we go. Uh, okay, come on. I had it, and then I just... It's being a booger tonight. There we go. Now you don't really need to over tighten these because as you see right there it's already at the bottom so it's only there to design and design to hold the the plate's gonna be sitting like that so it's not like it's gonna be falling out or anything like that so this one decided to go in a little bit easier And this is fully in. 
Uh, you'll hear it moving around because there's another hole here and here, and this actually just goes in for the, it's designed for the, tr the screw for the trucks. So, um, so we're going to turn this over. That portion is done. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Is this in tight? Yep, all tight. All right, next. Now, let's move on to these, which actually go on for the spine. But before we do the spine, I want to tackle the uh, couplers. So now the couplers, as you can see here, they go underneath the plate and are on that. So this is viewed upside down. Uh, they did two diagrams. Okay, so this is how it's going to look when it goes gets married on to here. So picture shows it like this. When you put it onto the train, or picture shows it like this. But when it's on the train, it's going to be, the car It's going to be like that. It's just going to be flipped over. So, to save a little bit of time, and on this model, on this model, we have everything we need already on there. It's already in place. So all you got to do is just assemble everything. So, I'm going to take the headache away from myself here. And... I'm going to try to show you how I, if I can, if this will cooperate with me. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see it very well. See that little clip right there? And then you have that little square on the side right there. Well, that little notch is where it's going to go. It's going to go over the outside of this whole thing. So, you take it just like this, and you just kind of take one, one thumb and just set it in there and just kind of hold it. So, let me show you again. You take it and you just put it kind of do this thing then you take this clip and there see how it went over the edge just like that now, now mind you, I don't really like using these ones because these are like really stiff in here. These actually are factory. I'm just doing this for a uh, demonstration on how to do the build, but uh, and use, utilizing what came with the kit. Now, I don't. I like using um, the more actual spring. This is plastic, so there's it moves okay, but I like the actual spring ones. So I'll probably change this out later, but for the sake of the video, um, I'm going to just go with it. So I'm going to... Uh, All right, so that one's done. To recap, I will show you how with the other one. All right, so what I did was, we have this right here. And, hold on. 
you take it, you take, see there's a little notch on the side. Come on, focus. There you go. See that little square in the middle? That's actually a little uh, knot, and there's one on both sides that will catch the clip. So it locks it in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go... Uh, take that and just kind of put the around over the and that just goes right down over it. Then what you want to do is take this little clip. See it has that little bit of a flap right right on the right there. That goes towards the coupler side. So what I do is I just push down on that where the coupler is. And just press down. It's that simple. See? No. It's all together. I'm just gonna make sure make sure it's all clipped in place there. Yeah, it's all it's all good. So I just, see how it clipped down right over that little little nub there, just like that. Again, these are a little stiff. They they'll work, but um, I'm not a fan of these particular couplers. So I'll probably uh, again I'll probably change them out. Um, okay. So here we go. Um, now this is the fun part because this is where it all, the whole bottom comes together. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so now remember how I said the spine? Oops. Look how the spine was flipped up like this. Well, when you, it's actually going to go against. When you put it on to the to the rail car, you're actually going to flip it over like that. That's what that's what's going to happen. So, what we got to do is I'm going to show you again. See right here how those it comes down over that. Well, that's why I put all this stuff together in that. And now this will go sitting on that. If that makes sense. So that, so that it will look like this in the end. So now that these are all together, all we have to do is take each one of these Now, the way that I figured on it doing, there's a little bit of easier way that I figured out doing this. We can take these, and I just lay them just like that. Here, let me go zoom. Just like, I put it right over the, the little screw uh, notch where the screw is going to go into, and I put both of my couplers there. Like one there, but one there, and because this is going to flip over anyway, now all I got to do is put this in there like that, put this in there like that, and you don't have to pull on it because it's already where it should be. And then, now all we got to do is just get the, the, the trucks on there. So now what I do is I just take a, take that. Let me just, uh, all right, here we go. Um, so I'll show you again. Um, what we put together... I just 
flipped upside down like that. Then I flip this over and put it. Come on. Um, there's a little bit of a groove in there. See that little indentation? Well, you're going to turn it over like this. And then we're going to go down and put it like that. And then I'm going to grab a screw, one of the screws, that goes to that. Now you want to make sure you have your trucks going the right way. And they should go like this. So to get them on right, you got to flip it upside down. So you're doing everything upside down here. Or, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I had them up. These ones have a different, these ones actually go the other way. So when you install it on this, see the springs? If you look at the angle of the uh, the axles, they are actually going to go like this. Uh, I believe so, right? Yeah, springs are going to be on the bottom. So when you put them like this, you're going to go down. And you're going to just flip them up. And it's going to have a little groove. To go over the existing nub. I'll show you. Let me see. Uh, okay, so. See that little left round nub that's, that's there? Well, this. Actually. sits you take your your trucks like this the the shocks are supposed to be on the bottom so you make sure they're face up towards and then you put the screw in It's all new. My fingers aren't really working with me tonight because I work with brick all day. So my fingers aren't very um, flexible tonight. So we're going to do this a little easy way. So I'm going to put that in there like that. Now it's aligned. Come on. I hate it. I try to do projects during the week and this is what happens. <laughs> it fights me because I work with brick and my hands get stiff and numb. And then it doesn't want to work with me when I do things like this. So. Alright, come on. Dang it. 
you just go in already? <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and after figuring it out, the only my hands are not being very kind to me tonight, so I grabbed a pair of tweezers to hold it right under the the top of the actual screw. So now I'm able to get somewhere. Um, and what doesn't really help is that this is a new kit, so these are the first time the screws are going into the pilot holes that are there. I'm going to grab the bigger screwdriver. See if that helps. There we go. Whoop. There. So now I can just get it in where it needs to be. Again, you don't want to over tighten these. You want them to move as free as possible. So, right about snug is is good. Um, you want the wheels to move. You don't want them to come off, and you don't want them too tight to where they're not going to go anywhere. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick. Hopefully this time I can do it with everything on camera. All right. There's that. So what I did is I just took the screw Just like that in my pair of tweezers and came all the way down here making sure that these are the right there's that and then I put it in there just to hold it pretty well and then I just got the screws just to stabilize the screw because my fingers are not working and I started this, and then I used my hand to start the uh, the screw into the pilot hole so that it will go in, and voila. Just like that, we got ourselves Oh, come on now. I'm just gonna whoop I keep bumping you, I know. I'm gonna tighten this down real quick. And I'll show you what, what it looks like. See, that's a little too tight. So I'm going to back it off just a little bit. Like I said, you get these too tight, the wheels won't want to move. There, that looks pretty good. You don't want it to, you want the wheels to move. So. What I did was there, put, I put this on, then I put the spine on over it, and then I put the, and then I put the truck on, 
and then I put the screw through all of it to, and everything like that. So now both ends are together. And you're wondering, well, okay, what's the next part? See how easy those that rolls back and forth? Well, now that's the, that's the one hard spot. Um, let's see. Mm. All right, so now all I have left to do is to take this puppy. I'm going to zoom the camera out so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now all I got to do is just take this. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, what I'm going to probably end up doing is I'm going to I'm going to probably glue this together. Maybe. Haven't decided yet, but um probably going to have to. But uh anyway, what you there's no clips on there's no clips on this, so I will eventually put the glue on it. But essentially, you have this complete. There's only two things I got to do. I got to um, put the, the wheel I just had it, so I'm not sure where I put it, but I just had it. But anyway, so what's left for me to do is to put the brake wheel on the end of the box car. Let's see which end I'm at. is it? Oh, it's gonna go in right there on the end. A, a minuscule of CA glue or whatever, and then you put it in. That's it. On this kit, that's the only other thing. I'll probably put a couple of dabs of glue on the undercarriage. Uh, you know, locking it all together. But essentially, that is it. There you go. You got your your kit for the Norfolk, Norfolk and Western all complete. Uh, I, um, again, I don't have any any CA glue. I'm um, so I am just gonna. I just did it without tonight. Um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new to building these together or putting these together, rather, I hope you found this um, easy to do um, for this one. Um, I will be putting more out uh, regarding some more labor-intensive ones that might that might end up being a two-parter. Um, but this is just the more simple one that I wanted to share. Um, it literally just took me five minutes to five, ten minutes to do this. Um, minus uh, more time off camera that I was playing with those screws to get them to cooperate. Um, so yes, this is a pretty quick and easy build. I'm glad you joined in with me on this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment in the in below. Um, if you'd like to follow me and um, see when I post another video, Please hit subscribe and then hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of 
all notifications of anything I post. Um, until then, uh, we'll see you next time. Stay safe. Happy modeling. All right, guys. See you later.